If you care about the First Amendment, there's some good news from the state legislature. Carolina Journal recently reported that a bipartisan group of influential state senators introduced Senate Bill 636. It's designed to protect your individual privacy, your right to anonymous political speech and association. The bill would prevent the disclosure of those who donate to nonprofit entities. Also, the bill would prohibit government workers from disclosing any confidential information they may see in the course of their work. These North Carolina lawmakers are on the right side of history. June 30th will mark the 62nd anniversary of a landmark U.S. Supreme Court case, the NAACP versus Alabama. It formally recognized your right to donate anonymously to nonprofit organizations like your church or the Locke Foundation or the NAACP. That right falls under the First Amendment's right to speech and association. The Supreme Court is set to hear a similar case this session involving the California chapter of Americans for Prosperity. It's a suit that once involved Vice President Kamala Harris. When she was California Attorney General, she demanded that AFP turn over its donor list. Now, even though there's no federal law right now to force donor disclosure, the threat to your privacy when giving to your church or select nonprofit is very real. And that's especially true with HR1, which I've discussed with you before. And in 2018, North Carolina Congressman David Price introduced a bill to require all U.S. nonprofits to disclose donor names. Fortunately, it didn't go anywhere. But states like California and New York and some advocacy groups have pushed policies to end your right to privacy. Now, there's only one reason why the ruling class wants to know who is donating to which causes. That's to boycott, harass, intimidate, or flat out cancel people who have contributed to organizations that champion issues with which the power elite disagrees. North Carolina isn't alone in this battle. West Virginia, Mississippi, they've passed laws to protect donor privacy. Arkansas, Nebraska, Tennessee, and Wyoming are considering similar laws this session. Here at the John Locke Foundation, this is an issue near and dear to us. We've written extensively about the importance of our rights to express ourselves privately through our giving. It's included in our legislative agenda, which you can find at johnlock.org. And our sincere thanks go to the Republican senators, Joyce Kravik, Norm Sanderson, and Bob Steinberg, and to the Democrat Senator Dan Blue for sponsoring this important bill. We'll do everything in our power to protect your First Amendment rights of speech and association. You can do the same by letting your lawmakers know how you feel about SB 636. Now, if you have feedback for me, email me at therightaoc at johnlock.org. And for all the news and information you won't get anywhere else, visit johnlock.org and carolinajournal.com. And while you're there, please consider an investment in freedom so we can continue to bring you the news and information you need to make wise public policy decisions. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay informed.